Yeah, absolutely. You know, we got a ton of guys here from New Jersey. Um, you know, growing up in New Jersey, South Jersey, down by the beach, it's you know, it's honestly made me who I am. You know, the people there, uh, it's where I've always grown up. It's where I go back home in the summer times, all that kind of stuff. So uh, you know, I'm proud to be from New Jersey, just like all those other guys. And no surprise that there's like 13 guys here from New Jersey when you played high school. Yeah, I mean, me and Quentin Nelson were actually uh, on the same all-star basketball team in high school. And so, I mean, imagine seeing his huge human being running around shooting a basketball like him, but a uh, great athlete. So, uh, yeah. How much has basketball helped your game? It's helped it a ton. Uh, basketball and volleyball. Thinking basketball, you know, going up to get a rebound or, you know, going up. Uh, to attack the rim or dunk on somebody, whatever it is, and then in volleyball going up uh, for a spike and you know getting up to the highest point, the hand-eye coordination, just everything that those uh, games have to offer, uh, I, I've been able to translate that to my football um, and overall, you know, my athletic ability. Do you have a goal for what you want to tie the vertical arc? Yeah, uh, I mean, everybody's been asking, hey, what are you gonna run? What are you gonna jump? What are you gonna bench? And it's just like I feel like I feel like if I tell everybody, then it's not gonna be as cool when I do it. You know, so. <laughs> So I try, I try to I try to keep it a secret. Everybody, everybody's, you know, all these teams are like, oh, what are you going to run? Everybody thinks I'm slow. So I'm like, I don't want to tell them what I'm actually going to run. So I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it all a secret. Mike, have you met with the Giants, Jets, or Eagles? Um, in informals, yeah, I've met with, you know, a bunch of teams. Um, have, you know, a lot of, you know, formal interviews tonight. So it'll be, uh, you know, exciting to go through that process as well. Informals with all three Giants, Jets, the whole New Jersey base. Yeah. yeah. I think Saquon jumped up to 41. Yeah, no surprise there. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody was surprised. They just wanted to, you know, put the video up on Twitter and get some retweets on it. But. Yeah. Yeah. You almost quit the fall one point your career? Yeah, so I didn't um, – so I was playing quarterback. I started playing football in eighth grade. I played quarterback my uh, eighth grade and freshman year. Got in uh, my sophomore year, and there was just a player that was better than me at quarterback. And to be honest, growing up, I thought I was be the next Vince Carter in basketball. So that was my thing. Like, I'm, I'm just going to dunk on people. I'm going to keep playing basketball. And uh, I was thinking about playing AAU and just kind of focusing on basketball. And then my coach told me, hey, man, let's try it at wide receiver. We're going to a seven on seven. So uh, I was like, all right, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot. And went out there. And turns out I like catching touchdowns. So it's fun. Were you a power forward or center in basketball? Uh, growing up, I played point guard. By the time I was 6'6", six, six, you know, 215, 220 in high school. I wasn't really playing point guard much more, but uh, I mean, I could still handle the ball, shoot, all that kind of stuff. So I kind of varied, you know, with, with the, yeah, the position I, I was playing. Um, basketball no, uh, I actually got, so I, I've had offers for basketball come out of high school, uh, more Patriot League schools, Bucknell, Colgate, Lee High schools like that. Um, but uh, my first offer from Penn State actually came on the uh, volleyball court. Uh, their, their coach reached out to me my sophomore year in high school. Um, Told me that if I was interested, they had, they had you know a spot for me and uh, all that kind of stuff. But he knew that I was playing football and basketball at that point, and I said, you know, thank you very much and all that kind of stuff. I still talk to him. Um, he reached out to me and said that you know he wants wants me to come to a game when I get back after pro day and all that kind of stuff. So it'd be cool to get get back out there and just be able to experience that. Mike struggled as a sophomore. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm here today because of that year. Um, just had a few uncharacteristic drops. I uh, wasn't really playing up to my full potential. And um, I'm so thankful for that time period because my first two years at Penn State, um, I don't know if you know, I was thinking things were going to come easier, but uh, my first two years there, you know, I had 24 catches. My last two years, I had 105. So uh, I think that going through that, you know, adversity and those kind of struggles, um, it made me work harder. Um, and there was times I go over the building and 11 o'clock at night, our coaches would find out the next day and be like, hey, man, like, what, 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 what are you doing in the building? Aren't you, aren't you supposed to be asleep or anything like that? So I, I, my thing is I pride myself on my work ethic. So I'm going to outwork anybody and everybody in order to get to where I need to go and to achieve what I want to achieve. So uh, without that, I wouldn't be here. So I'm thankful for that. And now I'm here. How, how did uh, Trace McSorley help you? And is, is he a, a potential Heisman candidate? Absolutely. Uh, Trace, unbelievable quarterback, unbelievable competitor. Um, he's a leader for Penn State football. Um, excited about his uh, his future. Um, it's interesting now that like I'm out of Penn State and he's in Penn State. I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, am I allowed to talk about an NCAA athlete and all that kind of stuff? But I don't really care. So um, yeah, I mean, Trace is you know a good friend of mine. He actually just uh, reached out to me earlier today. Said best of luck, do what you do. And uh, so I'll get excited. I'm excited to get back there because he'll be throwing to me a little bit when I get back on uh, on campus. Sprint uh, for your. Uh 
uh, NFL day and everything too, you think you'll throw? Uh, no, he won't throw at the pro, pro day. day. Um, but, I mean, he'll throw to us just leading up to it, get some work and all that kind of stuff. What did it mean to you to be a part of these Penn State teams these last few years and play a role in getting the program where it is now? Yeah, uh, you know, I committed to Coach O'Brien. Um, and he left for the Houston Texans. And then he coached the Senior Bowl, and he still didn't want to coach me. So I had a discussion with him there about that. But uh, And then Coach Franklin came in and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, brought his culture to Penn State while also keeping the tradition that Penn State has. And, uh, you know, we all bought into it. We all uh, you know, trusted in Coach Franklin and trusted in, in his process. And, you know, he's a, he's a great head coach and is a huge reason why Penn State is where it's at today. Back-to-back, -to -back, you know, 11-win seasons, back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes, back-to-back -back New Year's Six Bowls, a Big Ten championship, some big-time wins. And uh, I think our stadium averaged like 100 and – 8,000 a game when they say it only holds 107. So I don't know, maybe we got to get security or something checked out there. But it's been uh, an, an incredible ride at Penn State. And uh, I'm so thankful to have those times and those memories. I'm excited to get back to State College in, uh, next week. Do you feel like there was any maybe even unfinished business? You guys were, what, four points away from being undefeated last year mm -hmm. and could have been in the playoff very easily? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> um, now I got all motivated. I'm going to go kill this bench press. Um, yeah, uh, that wasn't fun. Obviously, sitting there at lunch day with JT Barrett, and he was he was smiling about that one. But uh, it was it's a part of the process, man. It's part of the journey. Um, you know, we had a very talented football team. We played extremely well in all uh, 13 games, and we were able to come out with 11 wins. Uh, obviously, you know, in college football, that's not good enough. But uh, unfinished business, absolutely. But that's not up to me now. It's up to those guys that are still there, and you know, I'm really confident what the what they'll be able to do. What do you think it would be like to go to a team like like the Dallas Cowboys?